my wife always sits down and she wants she wants to watch dumb TV. She goes, can I just sit down and watch dumb TV? And it's that fucking Kardashian shit, which has been on a goddamn loop. That shit the other day, okay? And um, it was on, you know, they got enough episodes now. It's like the fucking Simpsons, where you can just do a whole weekend of nothing but the, the Simpsons. You can do that with the Kardashians now. So she just kept watching them and watching them. And I literally, I had to get up and walk into the bedroom and close the door. It, the, the show, it literally puts me in a fucking bad mood. Um, I know that there's a there's a clip I just saw on Facebook. Of course I'm on Facebook. I'm a white guy in my 40s. I love Facebook. <laughs> as much as the youngsters hate it. Everything that they hate about it, I fucking love about it. But anyways, there's some local news show or whatever, and this guy, just he just fucking sums up. He snaps. He completely loses his composure and just says, like, nobody gives a fuck about this stupid fucking family. And then these two chicks laughing, one of them agrees, and then the other, like, just breathe, just breathe. Like, that makes it better. It's like, just enough already. I My, my wife has it on so much, I'm actually starting to understand. Like, the dude... You know, who looks like a fucking mannequin. He's got perfect hair, perfect white teeth. He's always walking around in a suit, but he's never at work. And I finally just sit there and go, what the fuck does that guy do for a living? And they're like, ah, you know, nobody really knows. Nobody knows what he does. You know, he's always walking around like uh, dressed like Bud Fox. And then I'm like, oh, my God, I'm getting sucked into this thing. So I just I just went into the other room. It's just an endless fucking pursuit. They're just constantly traveling. I love like when they go to the Dominican Republic and do they interact with the people? They go right to the fucking resort and they're sitting next to a fucking infinity pool. You know what I mean? It's just, it's like, why did you, why don't you just stay home? You already live in that climate, you dumb fucks. Let me tell you about the time I went to the uh, Dominican Republic. I went there and they took us. Nice. Oh, fumble, fumble. Get that motherfucker. You fat fuck. That's not yours. God damn that fat fuck. He landed right on it. Probably thought it was a pork shoulder. <laughs> oh, great. And we get hurt. Wonderful. Ah, for fuck's sakes. Anyways, so I go to Dominican Republic um, with the wonderful lady I was dating at the time. Fucked that relationship up as I did everyone until I met my lovely wife. Um, and we stayed at a resort, right? We show up. And I got there. And within two, far, like, you, you see what, how people are living as you're driving there. And you're like, holy fuck. It was my first time in a, a so-called third world country. I don't know what the fuck that means. It just always means it's a bunch of broke people. I, I don't know. So I fucking like, it was staggering. You know, I saw a couple of nice houses and everything else was like a fucking tin shack. And we're fucking blowing by all this poverty. And you're taking it all in. It's an absolute shock when you're spoiled ass fucking American. All right. And I don't give a fuck. What your situation is in this country, for the most part, you're living like a fucking king compared to this sh stuff, right? So I, we end up getting to the resort, and then all of a sudden, everybody has only these fucking Hawaiian shirts saying hello, asking to take your bags. And it's like, am I supposed to forget what the fuck I just saw? So the entire time I'm on this uh, vacation, what's funny about the resort is there's like literally like a prison wall all the way around the whole fucking thing. And you just feel it. You just felt it like late at night. If I get too close to that wall, somebody is going to reach over it, yank me over it. And no one's ever going to see me again because that's the level of desperation down here. And, um, my favorite part slash the scariest part of the trip was, uh, we actually went horseback riding and we went to a, a, a cave where there was water. You went to the water, you had to go underwater and then come up to the other side of the different cave. I know this sounds like a fucking Hardy Boys episode, but we actually did it. And I remember uh, the tour guide, the tour guide who took us, I had to stop at his fucking house. So I am sitting there in the front passenger seat um, of his car. As everybody is looking at me, basically the whitest motherfucker on the planet. And uh, and I had to sit there like, are they looking at me like, Jesus Christ, how often do you see a redheaded white dude down here? Were they looking at me like a white elephant? Or were they looking at me like, uh, you know, God knows what our foreign policy did and now they're in that situation? I had no fucking idea. But it was definitely, uh, I don't know. 
I, but I was glad, still glad I did it. I still went out and interacted. I actually gave some, the horseback thing and the cave shit. I actually was giving money to people outside of that fucking resort. It just it didn't feel right. Does that make any sense? I don't fucking know. I'm watching the fucking game here.